Hey, we're here at JCW's, the Burger Boys, with Chris Williams, the owner of JCW's, and we're talking about Bank of American Fork. Go once, twice, three orders of money rings. Are ready, Johnson's? So with all the different banks out there, why did you choose Bank of American Fork? They were local in the community. We felt like that it was important to have a, a banker that we could uh, see on a day-to-day -day basis. Over the last 10 years, we had the same banker. Um, it wasn't a, a revolving door every two years of someone new. It was the same guy, and, and that level of confidence was huge for us. It was a custom fit for us. They were able to adapt to our needs rather than the needs of the bank. We told them what we wanted, how we wanted it, and they gave it to us just that way. Make sure the chocolates and the flowers are on the porch when she comes out. Start playing that music. She's going to come out. She's going to be like, oh, I'm so glad that you glad that you ordered the hot pastrami and the... I haven't put it in yet. The reason that, that, that I love Bank of American Fork is because of the personal service. It's definitely more of on an individual basis rather than a, on a large scale. Okay, what do you get when you mix a uh, Cocker Spaniel with a, an elephant? A dead Cocker Spaniel. All right, Chris. Well, I think I've done enough here. Thanks a bunch for letting me hang out. And, uh, Thank you. Thanks for banking with Bank of American Fork. Can I get a job? I don't think so. As a chamber president, my role and responsibility is to direct and lead uh, the American Fork City Chamber in, uh, in helping our businesses grow as well. Um, businesses uh, need networking opportunities to be able to get their name out, to increase sales, to get more exposure. And uh, as a American Fork City Chamber president, it is my role and responsibility so that they have those opportunities and roles and as we meet as we give them opportunities to network to meet other businesses as well as potential customers. Um, that's what we see as, as our role as responsibilities. A city really thrives when it has a really good relationship between the residents and the business community. And as we can kind of bring both those two areas together more and more, we have a, a thriving community. Some of the benefits, clearly it allows your your voice to be magnified. Well, the Chamber of Commerce uh, looks for opportunities to uh, to help grow and help build uh, the uh, business and, uh, and really the whole population community. In American Fork, there are a lot of small businesses, really businesses that are run from people's homes. And uh, the Chamber uh, strives to make uh, those individuals, those groups, those businesses have a platform just like a, uh, a large uh, multi-million dollar corporation. And so the Chamber uh, it helps uh, businesses and people uh, grow and develop. Uh, in addition to networking events and things of like that, but some of the friendships and relationships that I've made have led to successful business deals. Our challenge is to get our name out and to uh, network with other individuals, both businesses as well as parents and students. And so um, the chamber was a way for us to be able to do that, is to be able to network, to meet people, um, and get our name across to, to a number of different agencies. It's a good give and take relationship. We, we kind of support each other and it's been, it's been really great. I think networking has a very crucial part in the success of a business. Um, in my personal experience, it's been relationships that really make the business be able to thrive and it's meaning the right relationships. Also, it gives us the opportunity to have a bigger voice as a, a business community. Uh, it gives us uh, also the opportunity to uh, serve the community uh, through fundraisers and other uh, activities that we do. And I, I, I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. It's, it's a great feeling to help someone and have them leaving with a happy face and, and having them speak kind words and say that they want to come back next time. It allowed us to be able to uh, sponsor events. It allowed us many other opportunities in the, uh, the vehicle by which we were able to get our name out and uh, increase the, the potential number of students that came to us. The biggest benefit that I think the bank receives is just being an, uh, an opportunity for us to serve the community. Food drives and, and golf tournaments where we're, we're uh, the 
the most recent one we did was uh, for military uh, veterans. We were able to do it uh, and be affiliated with those kinds of events uh, allows us an opportunity to really express what the core values of the bank really are. The major plus that the Chamber does for us and also for other businesses within uh, the American Fork, Greater American Fork area is to allow another opportunity for us to, to advertise, to become a part of their, uh, uh, of the Chamber's operation. I think it's a great community because it's nestled just towards the uh, point of the mountain here in Utah Valley. I think there's a lot of opportunities and historically it was a lot of people commuting from our community up to Salt Lake to look for jobs and things of that nature. Excuse me, it's been great to see lately though how a lot of those businesses have relocated maybe from bigger cities into American Port. Hi, Caleb here from the social media team here at Business Promotion to tell you about the four social media platforms that you need to worry about for your business. Facebook is by far the most popular social media platform. Facebook is good for sharing your photos and getting just general news out. Twitter is a microblogger's dream. You can send quick updates about what's going on in your business. One of the big things for Twitter is hashtags. Hashtags will open up your audience. Google Plus is one of the most important platforms for your business because in order to get higher on organic searches, Google is going to be biased to their own social media platform. Instagram is the visual social media platform that is constantly giving you updates. Instagram's audience, though, it's younger. Thanks again for watching. This is Caleb from the social media team here at Business Promotion. Well, I've bought in three personal trucks from Ken Garf. Because I had a relationship on personal vehicles, we now own four Chevy half tons that are strictly for work. I love doing business here. Anybody who comes in and buys a car here will have the same experience. Starting a business, I went to so many different banks. No one even give me the time of day. And that's where Central Bank came in. Their loan officer was amazing. He just continually went to bat for us. Finally, there was someone that believed in me. Thank you, Central Bank. They gave me my first loan 28 years ago. They've trusted me ever since. They look at you as a person and not just numbers on an application. I know that they're not putting on a face to try to make my day. They're true friends and they really care about you. And that's why Central Bank is my bank. You'll get the best buying experience ever at Doug Smith Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with savings, prices, and payments like this on Doug's complete Jeep inventory. Now during the Jeep Celebration event in American Fork and Spanish Fork. Hey, Doug. You want a truck? Doug Smith Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has yours at a price you're going to love. 1500s, heavy duties, diesels, 4x4s. Now at Doug Smith Ram in American Fork and Spanish Fork. Hey, Doug. Life is full of tough choices. But with Bank of American Fork, choosing a bank doesn't have to be one of them. You'll find the technology and services of a big bank, but often with lower or no fees. And the personal service and attention you'd expect from your community bank. Which means you'll get the best of both worlds. Big city banking with small town service at Bank of American Fork.